Hi everybody, this is Ron. Today is March 23rd. We're in Bennington. And I've got a little training exercise for you. Now, uh, I've had a number of people ask me about how to modify the throttle plate uh, like they do for the NASCAR circuit to give you a little extra boost. You can't do it on every one of them because the throttle plates aren't thick enough. But John here, since he was uh, kind enough to be patient from November through to March to get his groove right, uh, what I'm going to do is this one here is the one that we just, you'll see the previous video on this. Uh, where we had to regroove it, uh, but you see the straw plate is very, very thick. Now, the key is that you've got to keep the shape round, all right? But it doesn't have to be flat, all right? All you're looking to do is turn this into a wing shape. So what I'm going to do, shine down here on the paper, turn, and we'll show them what's going on. By the way, the videographer is Aaron Cheek, Gadget Man, Nebraska. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now you're learning. All right. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this throttle plate, the axle's over here somewhere, right? Comes down like, like so, and it's like this, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to take this bit right here. This is the one that I use. They make them smaller, they make them bigger, but this is a good size for it. And I'm going to use this to do the rough shaping, and then I'm going to take a, a flapper sander and sand it smooth and make it look nice and pretty. Because John don't want my, no ugly throttle by a D, John. So the first thing, let me make this bigger here. Okay, so this, this is expanded view of that. All right? But what we're going to do is we're going to leave this much of it alone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, starting with this bit right here, I'm going to lay it up against the throttle plate like that, and I'm going to take it off here. Being real careful to make sure that this black line, you can see the, the coloration of it, right? It'll turn nice and bright and shiny when I cut it. I'm going to show you that in a minute. You're going to do this whole video. Just watch the whole thing. So I'm going to cut it once here. Then I'm going to cut it here. And then I'm going to cut it here. And then I'm going to cut it each time. I take off a little bit more until what we wind up with is roughly a round shape. Okay, so then I take the flapper sander and I smooth this off to where it comes down in a very nice little wing shape. That's what we're going to do. Just by cutting this off you, uh, on these uh, Vortec engines, they, they tell you you should be able to get three to five additional horsepower. Now, if you're ready, I'm going to go ahead and get started on it. All right, so now this is a Fordham. This is what I use for my shop material. I took it on the road because I can't afford to have the, the flex shafts breaking on me or the bearings going out on the Dremels, which as good as they are, and they are good for lightweight stuff, I've got three of them in the RV uh, because I never know when one's going to go bad. And he's giving it to me for Christmas, so uh, just yeah, note Christmas, that, all right? Christmas of uh, <laughs> last year. I, I'm real slow on my delivery. You know, I don't, I don't have Rudolph. <laughs> now, get you on. <laughs> okay. I got this on, uh, they, they sell new for, I think, uh, five or $600. And I got this one on uh, Craigslist for $200 about four years ago. And it has never let me down. I'm using the same material. So I spent probably $1,000 in Dremels, and I've got $200 into it. Well, actually, probably 300 because I have replaced the flex shaft. It's a little bit bigger and bulkier, but it does get the job done. Uh, one thing I like to do is take like a uh, like a cap because it'll squeeze flat. Shove it in from the back side if you can. Keep that throttle plate open and stable. You see, I'm just shoving it into the opening like right there, and then it'll hold. I just hold it with my hand like this, to where I can brace it and it stays open. I got it stable because if you cut the bottom, then you're messing with the natural eye, the natural seat of the throttle plate, and it will screw with your airflow to a greater or lesser degree depending on on how how badly you screw it up. All right, so here we go. Shove that thing back in there. It wants to pop out on me. You can use different lids if you feel more comfortable with it. Well, some will work better than others. Anyway, that's 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 how I'm doing it for now. You know, yeah, that's all right. We'll just use it by hand. All right. So always use eye protection. <laughs> but watch what you're doing. This is really important. You pay attention to what you're doing. And this 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 will be very aggressive. You just take a little bit off and wash it. Very light pressure, you have very low speed. That brass is nasty stuff that you get in your eyeball. Tell you that right now. So now I form this part is. Because all you need is just a hair, hair thin line at the bottom of it. So you might want to practice on one. But you don't have to use it. Personally, I think you take more time. You'd be a little more careful and patient if you're using one that's actually going to be used on a car. 
you're here at a very low speed, and I'm just shaving it just ever so lightly, just a little bit, repeating it until I get it down where I want it to be. Too fast, and it'll cut real deep, and you'll have, you'll have uh, ripples in it. You'll see, it just takes practice finding the right speed for your hand. Yeah, good, Aaron. Yeah, play the great sport. You may not notice the difference with all the extra power the groove gives you, <laughs> but still. Now I'm coming up on my angle. It's harder to mess up when you're in a steep angle. So you start with the very sensitive area, and then you flatten it out just a little bit. Oh, yeah, I got deeper. If you want me to do this, I'll do it for you for $150. Now I'm kind of just doing it all in one spot so I can be finished with this area. All you got to do is round it off. I'll show you why in just a minute on the on the paper why you do this. He's gonna start thinking the air flows and pressures. That's what it's all about. Flows, pressures, frequencies, they're all important. I think my flapper set is over there on your bench, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Did you bring one over? No, I think I put one over there. You think yes or think no? Yep. Yes. Fingers are getting tired. That's why you use a lid or something to jam it open. And if you look on some of the throttle bodies, you'll find that the that, that Dodge is already doing some of this on, on the on oh, the yeah. on the rams and the magnet engines. Now, as with everything, guys, I want you to remember that perfect is the enemy of good. So you're not looking for perfection, you're just looking for something to work. And so it, you, want, you can make it perfect later on, but make it work first. And uh, then improve it as you go along. Just like with the groove. Like Aaron's made a few mistakes. I've, I've made hundreds of mistakes. But that was part of the learning process. Fortunately, you don't have to make all those mistakes if you study this material. So take some time. And, uh, and go through the service bulletins. And before you do a groove, be sure to check out on the forums and talk to people about it because, you know, you never know if you don't ask. And I'd rather you find out how, uh, how good the Gadget Man groove is the first time out the gate than making a silly mistake that costs you the effectiveness of your groove. All right? So don't be ashamed to not know something because nobody does. I mean, if somebody does, I know I don't want to talk to them no more. <laughs> they, they can't learn nothing. They're too, they're too smart for me. All right, now I'm just going to take and sand this. And again, I'm not going all the way down to the throttle seat because this will mess with your natural seat. So you guys that are scared of hitting that throttle plate, 
you're doing your own self and your customers a disservice if you're charging for it. Because the throttle plate don't do nothing but shut off the air. Well, what we're doing is we're making it do a little bit more than it was doing before. Get the rough shape with your with your uh, it's a 125 I believe it is. Uh, you see it, so you'd be able to look at it and tell what it is or not. And then, then once you get that done, you see it only takes a few minutes with each one. Then you have a nice beautiful shape on that, and it's almost thin enough you can cut yourself with it. Feel that, Aaron? Oh yeah. Almost like a knife edge. Okay, but that's the natural seat. It's very, very, very thin, but I've done this quite a few times. You want to see a hairline uh, brown spot around there, but if you look at it from this side, you can see that that thing is perfectly round. Mm -hmm. Okay, that takes a lot of practice to get that good, but you will get good, but you'll only get good if you practice. All right, so now that is the one to three horsepower modification. Now, I want to show you down here why it works. Because, you know, show this right here if you don't mind, my beautiful little girl. That's my ex-girlfriend on camera right now. <laughs> Name is Katie. Aaron's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, ain't she? All right, now what happens is the air is moving on this side of the plate this way. It's being compressed. So, so if you look at it in the car, it's actually at an angle like this. So what happens is the air is being compressed here, then it expands out against this. But also you've got the air coming down this way. Right, so what you wind up with is a boundary zone here. Well, once you take this off of here, the air slides and it meets together, and this air actually helps compress it into the groove. So you wind up with a lot more power and a lot more air capture. And that is, that is exactly what we do when we really like somebody. I don't encourage you to do it every time. Because, you know, if you make a mistake on it, then you're going to be buying somebody a new throttle body or at least cutting them a new throttle plate, which is not the easiest thing in the world to do. So, but if you want to do it, I encourage you to go ahead, jump in with both feet, and uh, have a great time with it, and you will see amazing things happening to your engine. So, again, God bless you all richly and warmly, and smile for a stranger, because you both be glad you did. We'll talk to you soon. The red button. The red button.